Okay, in this video I am going to show you how to um, import an avatar um, into Marvelous Designer. You know, so if you have uh, different developer kits and stuff like that and you want to bring in a particular body into uh, Marvelous Designer, you can. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you how to bring in the Slink uh, avatar or a Slink uh, avatar into Marvelous Designer. And so here we have the standard Marvel's I mean Slink kit. Um, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to come here to the corner and hold down the left mouse button, drag up, and see that arrow? Let go. And that's just going to clean it up a little bit. Okay. So the first thing I like to do is I like to, um, you know, I'm going to be exporting out this, this Slink original. So um, one, I want to make sure I can select it, turn that on. Um, then I'm going to make everything else invisible. And I'm also going to make it so that you can't select it. You don't necessarily have to have it non-selectable, but I'm just, just doing it just to be on the safe side. Okay. Okay, so we're going to make all that in, invisible. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to move your mouse anywhere in here and hit A on the keyboard twice. Or actually, select the skeleton first. And you'll notice... Oh, and we got to make sure we're in object mode. Okay. Okay, and then you hit the A key twice. And that selects everything in the scene, including the, the mesh body. Um, that is That is visible. And then you come here to File, Export. You do not want to export as an Avastar. You want to export it as a Collada Default DAE. Okay. And I'm going to name this one 4. You can see I've done a couple of test ones. Okay, the other thing you want to do is you want to select Selection Only. And you want to include Armatures. And then you want to make sure deform bones only. Okay, and then the rest are just the standard settings. So those are the settings that you want because we we did select the things that we want to export out. Uh, you want to include the armature. I would turn off. You don't have to include the shape keys. Just to include the armature. Um, and I have materials on copy. that Everything else is fine. Deform bones only. You can have the set or not set. But deformed bones only is the most important thing. Um, and that's the rest of it. Okay, and then we can ex export. Okay, and it's been exported. Now I'm going to come over here to Marvelous Designer. And oh, let me reshape this a little bit. I had it over. Uh, I had it set to be over to um, two monitors. Anyway, okay, so then you come in here to Marvelous Designer and you're in an empty scene, no avatars, no nothing, and you go File, um, let's see, Add Avatar. Okay, and now I'm going to go to where it is on my computer. Uh, okay, and there's Slink Original for MD, Marlos Designer number four. Double click on it. Um, well, I believe the default millimeter is fine. And uh, you can click Add or Open, doesn't matter. And you click OK. And why did that come in on the side? Okay, let's try that again. All avatars. And avatar. And now let's do it. Let's just do open. And we need a default. Okay, that and that worked. Okay. Um, and now let's turn that off and that off. And we'll turn on the bones. 
and you can see that it came in with the bounds. Let me turn this off. Okay, you can see it came in with the bones, and you can see there's a silhouette there, and you can just click on a bone and rotate it. You hold down the shift key, it moves in 40 degree, 45 degree increments. I wish it would move in less than 45, like 10 or 15 um, degrees, so that you could, you would know that when you moved it to like say there, it was at a particular uh, angle so that when you go into your program to rig, if you decide to rig it in different poses, um, you can. Um, so that you would know the exact angle. You know, the arms are not too bad because if you click on the arm, you hold down the shift key and you rotate it, it snaps to 45 degrees, which is good for, a t uh, for an A pose. but 45 degrees on the legs is just way too much. Um, if anybody knows, oops, I guess I should snap this back. Um, if anybody knows how to get Marvelous Designer so that you can rotate, so that you can rotate these things and type in a number, that would be awesome. Uh, I guess you could rotate it. Oh, no, then if you, yeah. So um, I was thinking you could rotate it in the A pose before you export out the DAE file. Um, but then how do you snap the legs to be straight up and down? Unless, because it only goes at 45 degree increments. Um, I haven't been able to find a setting. Um, is there a setting for graphics default? Not settings, others. One hand centimeter, color, automatic. Yeah, see, there's nothing in here that says um, snap to 45 degrees. That is really sad. But now there is. Um, a setting somewhere. Okay, so, or an input. I haven't I've been able to find one. You can input it. I've looked in here, and you can find the bone in here, um, but you can't, you know, you can't set it. You know. Oh, there's the left, hip, left leg. It says there's that, that left hip. And there's no number to be able to set it to a particular rotation, which really, really sucks. Um, okay. So that's, and you can see it comes in really nice. And um, let's see. So to make a pose, though, so say this is the standard T pose. I'm going to, you can just go file, um, save, save as pose. And I've already done a, a T pose, but I'll just double click and overwrite it. Okay. And then say you want to do an A pose. I would hold down the shift key and snap that to 45 degrees. Shift key. There it goes. Snap that to 45 degrees. And then on these, you're just going to have to um, do your best best guess. You know, I'm going to try to match it up so that the leg here is met with lining up with this here and try to get it there. I'm not sure what angle these are, but that's the best I can do. Um, and then I'll run a file, save as pose, and I'll save that as a pose. Okay, so um, now to go back to the other pose, all you have to do is go open, uh, pose, a pose. 
and it moved the A pose to the E pose. So that's how you can do the different the different poses. Uh, let's see. Whoops. I turn off the joints. Um, so that's how you bring an avatar into Marvelous Designer. Is that's how you that's how you bring it into Marvelous Designer. So I hope you like this video, um, and um, you can always then uh, save. Like uh, let's see, you can then you can always go save as avatar, and you can um, uh, where is it? You can save the you can save the avatar and save it as sync original female. And so now you have the avatar saved. Um, and I believe Uh, you have to save it. Hold on, I find out where it should be saved. Okay, to save it in here, um, um, what you do? You go File, Save As, Avatar. Go to your documents, find it where it says Marvelous Designer. Find the the latest version. Um, this is the latest version here. Uh, then go, um, then find the avatar, and then click Avatar. And then name it. <laughs> Sorry about that. My my dinner is is, is ready. Uh, so it's a uh, slink, um, original email, and then just hit enter. And it should have popped up in here. Okay, and it did. I just had to double click here to refresh to refresh this. So now if we go um, delete all avatars and then if we just drag that in there, I don't want to save what we saved before, and there she is. And um maybe we can turn on oh you have to take a piece of clothing in there. Uh let's just throw Okay, so say we wanted to switch from one pose to another. Um, okay, so um, I just had I just made this piece of cloth real quick because if you switch between poses while you have something while you're wearing something, and you come in here to open pose, and you go to the A pose, you see it slowly moves into that A pose. So that's if you're wearing, if you already have something, some clothing that you've worn, um, it will um, move with the avatar. So that it moves with the avatar. Um, if you don't have a simulation running, and you switch by opening a pose, I guess as long as you have cloth in the scene, it slowly switches back and forth. Um, but if I didn't have that cloth and opened up the pose, I think it just switches very quickly. See, boom. So as, if you don't have any, any cloth, cloth. Um, let's try to choose. Okay, so I imported uh, this mesh dress this is not a marvelous, I designed it Marvelous Designer, but I retopologized it in 3D coat. Um, so it's not a regular one, but this is how, uh, it, it works the same on, um, it works the same on, um, on Marvelous Designer cloth as well. Okay, so now that I have this garment here, um, uh, if I go to, I, I think I have to, you have to start the simulation, and then you have to go open pose, 
oh, that's the T pose. Uh, open pose, A pose. And you can see the clothes move with the, um, with the avatar. So, okay, well, that's it. Um, uh, I hope uh, this helps some people out there. Oh, yeah, my CPU is getting kind of warm. Um, I hope this helps some people out there. And, um, um, yeah, it's always, it's, I've not been able to figure out a way how to get an avatar from Maya that's rigged, that has bones, into Marvelous Designer. So it's always best right now just to use um, Blender. All right, well, see you in the next video.